Hello, what's up, people? Here's a sled, and I will show you some of the latest changes I've been doing the Force Code. As you can tell, I'm speaking in English, and there is a few reasons to do this, but I think the main reason for doing this is that I'm trying to practice and improve my English, even after hours, because I have to speak in English at my job, so I'm just trying to improve it. If you have like some kind of feedback, or if you want to help me to uh, give a correct pronunciation to some words or whatever, just let me know in the comments that I will really appreciate that kind of help. So, well, let's begin. Let's start. Um, I've been doing some kind of refactoring to the code uh, lately. I am just wanted to tell you that the project is keep going. Uh, there are like some kind of improvements and we are waiting for some features to be done and to be integrated with my code and stuff. So just to give you a summary, I'm just uh, verifying that those refactorings are being are working okay, are working good. So, there's a problem right now with the server because the server is like not differentiating when there is uh when we remove a tag and you have like a forks map that was made in another version where that tag is not more existing in the map. So, I'm trying to fix that. Basically, just to clarify, this is an old version of Forge Island. This is a really, really old one, and this one doesn't have like the latest changes for us. So the problem is that the map is trying to spawn some object that doesn't exist anymore in the map, and that's why uh, this is crashing or, or causing some issues. Because I was, I'm really lazy, and I didn't fix some of. Uh, let me find where it was. It was here. Because I'm really lazy and I didn't split these two functions and verify any of these results. So that's why this is throwing me an error when it, it's trying to... Let me show you that. If I try to spawn or at least load a forest map. Yeah. Please ignore that horrible syntax of the command. That's just a temporal uh, like patch or whatever. If I try to spawn a map that has like an old object that doesn't exist anymore in this map, this is going to give me a fail. This is going to cause some not a crash, but it's going to mess with some of the results that the script is like attempting to do. So for example, as you can see right here, this is trying to uh, send me a request to spawn this object, the wall double, and it's not being allowed to to do it. So the problem is right here on this file, on the core file of Forks. As you can see in four, three, six, in this line, there is a problem because, as I can tell, the correct way to do this is that uh, I was supposed to split this into different objects and then make a request or create uh, like an instance of these objects of this data, let's call it data and then see if there is like an available, available value for this so for example if this is not okay I will not be able to use to do this, for example, if the object that has stuff, I can then just go to this line and then object ID equals to this, or at least I can just check it out if this exists and if I have like an ID, I will be able to use it. So I can refactor this and then use the ID rather than just creating another variable for to do that. Let's try to see if this is like the correct fix to do this. I'm really sure there is another problem on the client side, but we are going to look at that later. Let's see. Reload the server. Let's try to spawn a new. Let's try to load a new Forge map. <laughs> well, as you can see, there is uh, there are new features that I didn't show you before, like the map voting stuff or thing right here but I will try to keep this like uh, some kind of secret and give you this as a spoiler 
because these are like beta features. As you can see, I'm, I'm receiving the spawn of the objects, but I'm not being able to see any kind of object. And server is not giving me any kind of error anymore, so the problem is definitely on the client side right now. It is it is telling me that the problem is on the fall in the call file at the line 46, and it looks like it's trying what? Why is this trying to load a map? Suspected dot boolean at the 46 maps files. Why is this trying to spawn? the this ma I don't I don't get it this is probably trying this probably a reference to this somewhere without frogs maps list this is like trying to save the forks map I don't think so this is probably something wrong here I'm not being able to see the problem uh, at least I can see what is not working let's try to erase the function uh, the correct way to do this is that I I will have to print all the trace back until this error but yeah, before reaching this function, the best thing to do will be to print all the entire trace back before reaching this function. But I don't have too much time, and I can't really remember how to do that. So I'm just going to remove this from the client and try to see if this is working. Okay, objects were pushed to my game, and as you can see, they're here. That's probably uh that's probably just an error be between map versions I'm really sure is something like that yeah I have the yeah I see a problem now um, I'm not being able to load the old forks maps because the folder doesn't exist and I, I have to add some directory checking for those because this is an old version and I and then the map is not calling forks island anymore it's called Force Island Dev, and I'm pretty sure. I'm really sure it's something related to that. All this force. Yeah, there are some problems. The bitmap tag thing is not working. So, yeah. I'll have to look at that later. Not in camera right now. So, that's pretty much all. I will try to yeah, bring you some videos like this. They're probably not like the best videos, you know. They're not that interesting as like showing. Uh, forest stuff or something but uh, I really want to bring these videos to you because I feel that this is like some kind of way to show you all the effort that is being applied to this project at least from my perspective from my coding perspective I would like to show you uh, what kind of tools I'm using to bring this project to life why I'm being able to split uh, these files into different modules and then export them into a single file why I'm being able to use uh, functions or at least objects to handle all the game data I'll try to bring you a video explaining this and hoping that you will enjoy this as much as I do <laughs> so well that's all for now sorry if I didn't explain or if I was like um, being confusing by telling bad words, you know, like giving you a bad pronunciation of sentences and stuff, but I'm trying to do my best. Uh, so if you find something that I said wrong or something, just let me know in the comments below and I will try to read them and improve it. Even if uh, it's just uh, like a comment of, you know, my pronunciation and stuff or, or just, you know, just... Um, everything <laughs> if you have everything to tell me uh, to fix or something just let me know thank you for watching and see ya